Great Monday morning, you all. How are you all doing? Happy Monday. This is your girl, Shan. Open pray that y'all had an amazing weekend. Y'all know I say that every week. We did. Ours was busy, but not too busy. So, you know, we got out in the community a little bit and met up with some colleagues and different things on both days. It was good to catch up with those who are in the same field as us, sharpening each other's skills and encouraging each other. So I'm going to go ahead with some good old church announcements for this morning. First up, let me say this. Listen, it is our anniversary. It has been six years for us in radio of Marriage Mondays with the Kings. So we wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to Mr. and Mrs. Grace. They are the owners of Kingdom Revelation Gospel Network, which is also KRGN 98.5 FM The Rock. You all hear us say that every week. And then also, we want to thank you all for supporting us along our journey, for sharing Marriage Mondays with the Kings with others and things like that. I was sitting up thinking, you know, our plan, as we said on last week's show, was to do six months. But God's plan, we are fully six years. Okay, so God's timing is definitely not our timing. So thank you so much, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Grace, for allowing God to use you all to get us to where we are now for his glory. It is so amazing that through the years, there has been a lot of people who've reached out to us. They were going through in their individual lives, whether they be single, they were going through in their married lives and different things like that. And hey, can you, can you all pray for my marriage? You know, some people went into detail. Some people did not. Needless to say, we prayed, we did, we spoke and all the things that God laid on our heart to, to be able to see families in the, where they are now. It didn't used to look like that to be able to see husband and wife teams working together. You know what I'm saying? When they were in a place of turmoil, we know marriage have its ups and downs and even singles, you know, who were not in a good place five and six years ago, but now God got them in a greater place. And so for that, we say thank you for supporting Marriage Mondays with the Kings, for getting up in the morning, supporting your girl, Marriage Mornings with the Queen. Even before it became Marriage Mornings with the Queen, I've been doing this for probably about eight, nine years that I started going live. So thank you, thank you, and thank you again. So we want to ask you all to join us tonight for Marriage Mondays with the Kings as we speak about the topic, let's bring back the village, okay? Let's bring back the village. A lot of us was raised up under the village mentality where you had an amazing community of people, whether it be, you know, people in your community, people at your school, people in your church, you know, everyone had each other's back. Can we bring that back? Because all this divisiveness and things like that, like I'm sick and tired of it. We have made it through a whole pandemic and we still tripping. So let's bring back the village. We will be on tonight at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on KRGN 98.5 FM, The Rock. If you all want to join us live, we will be live from our YouTube channel, Marriage Mondays with the Game. So go like and subscribe and all the things, cut on the notification bell, whatever people usually say with that. And then we will also be live from my Marriage Mondays with Kings Facebook page. And I know y'all wonder, why are y'all like jumping back and forth on different platforms? I'm not trying to be mean, but a lot of these platforms are tripping. People are getting their pages hijacked and different things like that. So it's a lot of things going on behind the scenes. And we are just trying our best to stay connected with you all. So feel free to share. Okay. So let me do this. Let me do this because y'all showing out. Y'all showing out. Shout out to all the couples, all the couples, all of those who are married. Listen, y'all are out here dating each other. Y'all dressing up for each other. Y'all looking cute. You spending time, you loving on each other. We want to say thank you for that. Because there was a time when a lot of individuals would come to us as the kings and it just seemed like marriage was dead. It seemed like love was dead. But to see you all out here doing that thing, you know, y'all got that thing thinking. All right, we thank y'all so much. So good morning to everybody who are coming in. Now, let me speak about what I'm gonna speak about on this morning. And this thing been kind of spurring in me for probably about the last two weeks. Stop putting people in a box. That's what I want to talk about on this morning. Stop putting people in a box. And then I want to kind of preface it with saying this. Us as individuals, 
we have to stop allowing people to put us in a box. I was sitting up thinking about this. Of course, I apply it to me and my husband's life first, to my life first. I am guilty of this, of where I would put people in a box. I'm just going to keep it 100 with y'all like I always do. And I'm a guilty of allowing people to put me in a box. This is the thing that kills me. Let me start by giving an example. Those of you who are single, you have heard people say, so when are you going to get married? Because you know you are getting older, especially women. I can't stand when people do this to women. You know you are getting older and you know before you, all your good years is going to be gone. What? And then when people speak like that, it allows us or those of you all who are single to feel the way. I mean, if you be honest, like what's wrong with me? Why am I not married? Why do I, have I not found love? Why am I continuously going through these ups and downs? Why are we allowing people to put us in a box? Okay, singles, I want y'all to think about that. Let me go on ahead and talk to my married folks on this morning. So married folks, uh, why do we allow people to put us in a box? Okay, I don't understand why we as a people, and y'all help me understand this, drop your comments, feel free to share, because baby, I don't usually ask people to share, but this is one that needs to be shared, because I need some understanding. I'm sure y'all might need some understanding. So why is it that we as a people think that we have the nerve and the gall to put our mouth on somebody else and tell other people what it is in the sense that they should be doing. I know y'all like, wait a minute, Shane, you calling the kettle black? No, no, no. I do what thus says the Lord. There are many times when I've spoken, when my husband have spoken, God has allowed us to say some things and people have come back and say, or I even say this, I've said this on Marriage Mornings with the Queen. Look, I don't know who this is for, but I'm going to put it out there. There are so many people who come back and say, this right here was for me. Thank you so much for that. Or they go in the inbox or whatever the case may be, contact us through our website and say, that right there was for me. Thank you so much for sharing it. So why do we feel like we ought to go? I feel so bad for celebrities, baby. I understand y'all made it. Y'all at the top of y'all game. Any is celebrity, uh, 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 family, whatever, friends, whatever, after watching, I feel so bad for y'all because y'all can't move freely the way that y'all want to move because People are always putting their mouth on everything that you say and you do. Now, I'm going to bring it back down to the married folks. I was sitting up thinking about this and I often pray, God, why is it that marriages are not flourishing the way that you desire for marriages to flourish? And I'm going to tell you one good reason. I'm going to give you a good old country example using me and my husband. I slightly mentioned it before, but that thing really hit me. It's because we allow people to put us in a box. Okay? We allow people. And okay. Me and my husband was at an event not too long ago. Didn't nobody say anything to us or whatever. But anytime me and my husband are anywhere, we are in our own world. You hear me? We are going to have a funky good time, as the old heads used to say back in the day. We are going to have a good time. We don't care if we don't know anybody else at the event, anybody else at the party, whatever the case may be. Me and Mr. King going to have a good time. We had to grow to that place. And so some music came on, but I don't know if it was a cha-cha slide, the wobble, the something. Uh, it was, it's another song, to the left, to the left. I don't know what the down, down do you think? I don't know. Anyway, baby, me and Mr. King got out there and cut a rug. You hear me? We had such a good time out on that dance floor as husband and wife. This is how people put people in a box. Mm-hmm. Look at them out there dancing and stuff like that. They act like they ain't saved and uh, they out there just, uh, don't they know that they got people watching them and looking at them? We don't care who watching and looking at us. And this is the thing to kill me. We're married. So what is the problem? Now, if I was out there dancing with somebody else's husband and my husband wasn't nobody uh, around and grinding up on somebody else's husband, then y'all would have something to say. You'd have something to talk about. If my husband was out there dancing with somebody else besides me or whatever the case may be and I wasn't nowhere around, you're like, wait a minute, don't look like she Then y'all would have something to say. So why do we as a people always feel that we got to open up our mouths to put our uh, mouths on somebody else and what it is that they doing? I don't get it. People are going to talk. What gives us the privilege and the right to feel like we should talk? Now, let me talk to some of my brothers and sisters in Christ that's inside the church building, okay? Because I said I'm going to start clarifying and specifying this because we are the church. Those of us who believe in God, we believe that Jesus is the son of God. We 
are the church as the body of believers, okay? So let me talk to the people that's in the building because let me tell you what I used to do, okay? I'm just going to tell them myself and maybe this will help the saints out that's in the building. Just because I would get up and go to church every Sunday, just because I was a leader in the church, just because I would be there for Bible study, just because I grew up under the church, I thought it was normal for me to look, for me to sit high and look low on people who was outside the church and people that wasn't going to church because for some warped reason in my mind and I don't know if it's something that I was trained and doctrinated with or whatever the case may be is oh you're going to hell who am I to condemn somebody see this is putting the person in the box because you're not walking in Christ the way that I'm walking in Christ and so sometimes those of us that are in the walls, those of us that, that, that check the block and we go to church every Sunday, we go to church every Wednesday, we will sit up and do right exactly what the word of God tells us not to do. Judge not, lest ye be judged. That's what the word of God says. We are not supposed to judge what we are supposed to do as Christians. What we are supposed to do, especially those, you know, inside the building and outside the building, we are supposed to love. So why are we not doing because the greatest of these is what Jesus said. The greatest of these is love. So why are we not out loving the people? Why are we sitting up putting the people in a box? Why are we sitting up and some may have said, oh, what well, the kings, oh, I know they said this because they told us that right. Well, the king, y'all shouldn't be talking like that. Who are you? Let me tell you something. As I was preparing for this morning, over these last couple of weeks, let me tell you what God placed in my heart. And that thing, right, this right here is everybody say, this will preach. Baby, this will preach, but ain't nobody going to be willing to preach it. Let me tell you, when he laid this on my heart, it almost took my breath for a second. I had to sit down and process on this. God gives us free will. Man, don't. Let me let you sit in there for a minute. God gives us free will. Man, don't. Okay? So God gives us free will to choose him to worship him, to praise him. He forces us to do nothing. But man, man tell you, in order for you to make it to heaven, you got to do this. If you don't do this, you're going to hell. God gives us free will. So why is it that we are running around trying to do everything that we can to please man and check the blocks that man say that we have to please and we don't have a relationship with the father for ourselves, okay? So I want to help free some people on this morning. That's why I believe God is speaking through me because see don't nobody want to hear this me and mr king don't answer the man mm -mm. not in the least bit we answer to god you see me you see what i'm talking about so whether you be single whether you be married whatever the case may be i'm gonna need you and i would encourage you to get into the scriptures for yourself because see some people keep us in bondage according to the scriptures and the scriptures that they're spewing is not even what the context of the scriptures say baby one of the things that our bishop used to tell us when we was in leadership meeting in the church is if you're going to read the word of god you need to read the chapter before the chapter that whatever it is you studying and the chapter afterwards so that way you can get the full context people are out here spewing scriptures keeping people in bondage but don't nobody want to hear that on this morning so let me tell you as i was learning myself during the pandemic let me tell you something i set up and i said mm -mm, don't come to me with no scripture unless it is actually something out of the word of God where you didn't set up here and you didn't actually show me. And so people keep us in bondage. People put us in this box. And let me tell you what that actually is. It is projection because I'm going to use Kenya and I, for example, we speak freely. Okay. Kenya and I speak freely. And because we speak freely, a lot of people don't like that. Why? Because they cannot speak freely. You see what I'm saying? And so what they try to do is get us to tone it down. But as long as God is on our side, we ain't got no issues with anything that is said. And see, a lot of us will allow man to convict us, but not God. When you have a relationship with God, you don't have to worry. So getting back to being single, getting back to being married, I want you all to consider this. I want you all to consider if you had your own relationship with God, how would that thing be? If you freed yourself from what people thought about you and people's judgment, how would your life be? So I'm going to give one good, good old example, another good old example before I get ready to get up out of here. 
remember when, when me and my husband was stationed at a certain location and when we were in church, a lot of our argument that we used to have is because, for example, my husband would want me to wear something, okay? And it wasn't nothing revealing, provocative, whatever the case may be, by any means. And he said, baby, if you, you know, if you, just, I like to see you in this. And I would say, no, baby, ah, no. And we were leaders in the church. Oh, no, baby, I, mm -mm, I can't wear that. And, and it would be an ongoing argument. And he's like, why? I don't understand. I'm your husband. You're my wife. You're beautiful. Why can I see you in this? You know, we're about to go on a date or whatever the case may be. And I remember one time I told him, what if we are out on a date and we see some of the church members? And let me tell you this. <laughs> what it is that he asked me to wear was probably, it was a skirt. And it probably went like an inch to an inch and a half above my knees. But because I allowed myself to be convicted from what the people that I serve with in the church would think, me and my husband wasted a lot of unnecessary time arguing. But the reality of it is, I did not sign up to be a nun. I did not. I did not. Uh, many of y'all didn't sign up to be a nun. And so I say that to say this. I don't, I'm not in a convent. I made a vow to my husband when we were at the altar, okay? To, to all the vows, to my husband and to God. When I accepted the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as my Savior and recognized him as the child of, the, uh, of God, I made a vow to him. So why is it that we allow ourselves to walk around in bondage according to what it is that men think, people think, okay? So when I say I allow, I allow people to put me in a box. And then that trickled over into my marriage for a negative. So I'm gonna say this, to, I'm gonna say all that to say this. You have your own personal relationship with God. Not what religion tell us to do. Come on now, it's two different things religion and relationship. You have your own relationship with God. Build on that. Get into God's word. Allow God to convict you. You see what I'm saying? Of whatever it is. Don't allow man to convict you. So from this point forward, I was sitting up like, mm -mm. when it comes to me and my husband, and my husband don't have a problem with it, I'm going to live free. A lot of us are not living the life that God desires for us to live because we live in condemn condemnation and bondage of what people think. So I encourage you on today, get out of that mentality. Uh, uh, if you single, you live your best blessed life and you allow God to convict you because I'm telling you from what I know, when you got a relationship with God, God is say, mm -mm, don't say that. Mm -mm, don't put that on. Mm -mm. don't God will protect you okay not man so let us stop setting up here thinking that we got an answer to man God if you believe in God that's what I'm gonna say for those who are married let me go on ahead and holler at you get out there and date your husband and your wife that's why a lot of people are having issues in their marriage right now because you don't have no fun in your marriage you don't get out and do the fun things that you used to do when you was dating because you're too busy worried about your title whether it be your title on a job whether it be your title because baby let me tell you if god allows and it is his will for me and mr king to blow up as you say get to high celebrity status and whatever baby Come on back to these videos. Come on back to the things that we've, guess what? Because we have put it out there. We are not going to live in bondage of man. If me and my husband out on day night, baby, we gonna have fun. You hear me? Because that is my friend. He's not just my husband. So we gonna laugh and we gonna joke. But those who were in Colleen and you was at that event, baby, you seen us out on the dance floor laughing. We were slow dancing and all those things. A lot of us get married and that's where it stops. You don't have fun with your husband and your wife like they're your friend anymore. You too busy worried about what people think. Get your husband and your wife and you date them. Allow God to be the one that convicts you of whatever the case may be, if any conviction need to be brought forth. Because what I made the vow is I will no longer waste my time worrying about what it is that people think. 
People are not going to place me or Mr. King in a box because we do not care. You hear me? As long as God is good with it, as long as Mr. King is good with it, then I'm good with it. When I get out, when we go, I ain't got to see, because let me tell you what some of the saints do. You wait until you get on vacation and you get away. And oh, now I'm doing it. Oh, now I'm going to do the little uh, two step to this song or whatever the case may be. Don't do that. Don't do that. You be free and you live free. Get into that word and the word of God tells you what it is that you should be doing and what you shouldn't be doing. And last thing I'm going to say, don't let somebody just because they go to church religiously and check the box. Okay. I'm telling you, Mr. Key, Mr. Key. Don't allow somebody to bring you scripture and they misquoting the scripture. Let's sit down and have some Bible study. So what does the word of God say? And that's what I think is funny because there's so many people that try to approach me and Mr. King with scripture like we wasn't right. You don't take the time to get to know people. That's where I'm trying to go. Get to know people. Jesus didn't judge people with scripture. Okay. Those of us who are Christians, Jesus was our example and did not judge people with scripture. Now, Jesus, the Pharisee and the Sadducee did that. And who was they judging? They was judging Jesus. Oh, you call yourself the son of man. You supposed to be so ask yourself, are you really a Christian who's a true follower of Christ? That is out here modeling the example that Christ uh, 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 left for us in the word of God in the New Testament. Or are you a Pharisee or a Sadducee? Okay, that's enough for this morning. So join us tonight for Marriage Mondays with the Kings. We are going to be speaking about Let's bring back the village, okay? It's time for our communities and stuff and our churches and everything to get back together. Y'all know we had an open letter to the church. Baby, we are slowly transitioning this month over to community. Y'all join us. We got some people that are doing some big things and we cannot wait to bring them forward. I was sitting up like, what? One of our guests, ex-NBA player and a Harlem Globetrotter used to play for the... Listen, I love the Globe Trotters growing up. And I said, God, I used to be glued to the TV when the Globe Trotters came on. But guess what? We're going to have one on the show for the month of November when we're talking about community because he's doing big things. It's an organization doing big things right here in Colleen, Texas. Y'all shout out to us, other people in your communities around the world who are doing big things so we can shout them out on Marriage Mondays with the Kings, Okay. So join us tonight. Let's bring back the village. In my notes, I'm telling you right now, go ahead and clutch your pearls because, baby, we're going to be talking to the people in the church. While we always see you in the church, we're going to see you in the community. Mm -hmm. We're going to be talking to these local politicians and all these people that's holding these offices. Why the only time we see you out in the community is when you got your little campaign sign and then, but we don't see you now another time. Mm -hmm. Why you not out being active in the community? And those of us who are actually in the community, people are doing big things in the community, but we don't even come out of our houses to get out and support. So join us tonight, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on KRG and 98.5 FM The Rock. We will be going live for my Marriage Mondays with the Kings Facebook page and YouTube channel. So y'all go ahead. Feel free to share this. Thank you so much for joining your girl. Join me back next week at 7.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. Y'all be a blessing and not a curse. Y'all share this because it's free because somebody needs to hear it. Okay, look, somebody needs to hear this. Stop allowing people to put y'all in a box and y'all have a blessed rest of the week on purpose. God bless you.